Hi Simple Life Ministry, Lorna here back at you with another video. Today family we are going to talk about beans. I have here Adzuki, Adzuki beans and Adzuki beans family they are packed with fiber, packed with nutrients, packed with minerals. They are one of the best beans for you. They're also good for your digestion. They are good for heart health. They are high in manganese. So give them a try. It, they're very, very, very small, red, like burgundy, and they, they have this white edge at, 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 at them. I don't know how. But anyway, family, the way I do them, these ones are already soaked. So these ones are raw and they're soaked. I usually soak them for overnight. So I put them to soak before I go to bed and then in the morning I, I will cook them or I let them soak from early in the morning and then at night I put them in the slow cooker. But whichever way you do it, make sure they're soaked enough. I usually throw the water off it at least three times. I'm very fanatic when it comes to, to beans because I used to have I, I, I used to have digestion problem and I want to stay away from it. I do not want it to reoccur. So before I wasn't even eating beans. I had stopped eating them because I was not aware of how to do them properly and so I was thinking that I <laughs> that I was allergic to beans until I was told how to do it properly so what I would do family I put some in here in the glass and then I would just pour the water pour enough water to make sure that they are covered make sure they're covered and you go through them family and you look sometimes they have um, dirt on them sometimes they have uh, even stones I found stones in the beans so always go through and pick and look before you wash and when you're washing usually whatever floats on top I remember that I don't know if that that's a true story but whatever floats on top then we would um, figure that that part is not good I think we used to do that with gungu peas I'm not sure about this but if I, I very rarely see any float on top with these ones but pick through it family that's very important and sometimes you will even see one like something has bitten it it's like a half of a piece just throw that one out so go through it wash it properly put the water and make it soak throw off that water in the morning put some wash it again put some more water and let it soak family after i do that now i will put it in my slow cooker after it boil for say one two hours i go ahead and pour that water off I pour that water away also then I put it back here and I just plug it in after 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 I pour away that last water then I season it up with all my onions my garlic my scallion my thyme uh, all my 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 other thyme there that I love uh, 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 all of my seasoning my oregano all the seasoning that you love and you want to put here family you put it there from beginning so that it can take time and slowly cook and slowly embodied all the flavors of the meat of the <laughs> all the flavors of the seasonings um, I was gonna say next that this is your meat so you want it to taste nice so you're gonna season it up and do to it as as you would normally when you're cooking meat right so you cook it up nicely so that it tastes good 
another thing I, I want to say is I don't usually do the oil but at the end of the meal if you want to put a little coconut oil you can do it but this way you don't need you don't need to put the oil in it it's another thing too after you pour off that that first water that it's as boiled in you could put coconut milk in as your water then put your peas then season it up and then it it will come out as if it's um stew peas and then you can just go ahead and and eat it but that's my important thing way of of passing on to you my, the way i do my beans make sure you pick it make sure you wash it make sure it's soaked throw away that water because there are uh, the same things that are on the the, the 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 rice there are things on here family that needs to be be the the, the that needs to come off so and because they're sucked onto the beans now if you do not soak it enough if you do not um, make sure that everything is off it will give you an upset stomach and and you will feel as if it's not digested properly so all all we need to do is to is to cook it properly preparation of food is so important and you will reap all the health benefits from it when it is done right when it is done correctly so I just wanted to come here and show you that and and family if you you don't have to soak it they're saying you don't have to soak it if you're gonna put it on low overnight and let it slowly cook you don't have to you could do one or the other but for me I still like to soak it throw off those water cook it that first cooking water I throw that away and then I go ahead and then put it all season up and make it nicely slowly cook you want your food to slow cook family as much as you can slow cook your food either you you're slow cooking it in a in a crock pot or a slow cooker or a steamer so so that the the flavor of the food can retain the vitamins can retain and 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 all the goodness that was meant to be in the food can go into your body and not be boiled away so family i think i've said most of what if i forget anything i'll put it in the description box so yeah this is my my bean here so this is my beans it's all ready i'm going to put it with some some quinoa for later it's so soft and nice and delicious it tastes better tastes different than the the red kidney beans that we are used to this is a wonderful bean family if you do not have any in your possession try to get a hold of it add zuki beans very good very healthy i hope i have answered a question this was a, a request from a couple subscribers to show how I do my beans so this is how I do my beans and I love making it with my coconut milk I don't use too much oil but my coconut milk I use to replace it if you have any more suggestion for me any question leave them in the comment section family I hope that you are blessed by this have a good day please for those who haven't subscribed yet remember to like share subscribe turn on your notifications so you know when I come back with another video thank you for my subscribers thank you for coming on and seeing what I come with next bye for now God bless